How's it going you guys? Michael Shanebloom here and today we are going to be doing a super quick tutorial on how to use the crop tool in Lightroom to enhance your compositions. So just a quick overview, anytime I crop my images in Lightroom or in Photoshop, the main reason is to enhance the composition. It's to kind of elevate the subject matter. And there's a few different ways that can work. The first is by removing distracting elements from the edges of the frame. This helps to guide the viewer into the photograph where you actually want the viewer to look. The second thing is to help accentuate patterns and shapes. So if you have a bunch of horizontal lines and and then one random vertical line, maybe towards the edge or maybe on the bottom or the side of the frame, you might consider cropping that element out to help accentuate that repetition that you've created in your photograph. And of course, you can also use the crop tool to tell a different story with your photograph. Different crops and what you choose to include in the frame versus what you don't choose to include in the frame can completely change the mood of the photograph, change the story, and change the way people will perceive your photograph. So these are all important things to think about. One quick thing that I think is really important to think about is your crop while you're actually shooting. So I'm always thinking about the crop while I'm shooting and composing my photographs. I like to leave a little bit of room on the edges of my images. So I'll actually zoom out a touch just in case I need to do a slight crop. There's nothing worse than having to crop the image and realizing you're actually taking out an element that you liked in the composition. And I also use a little bit of visual reference too. Like if I check the back of the camera, sometimes I'll put my finger there just to see what a potential crop will look like. So definitely think about your crop while you're shooting. It's really gonna help you out when you get to post. Um, so here's an image I took at the sand dunes and I really love all the patterns and the shapes. I love the colors and the tones, kind of that play um, between the warm tones and the highlights and kind of these bluer tones in the shadow areas. If we go to the develop module, I'll just show you what my crop looks like here. So if we go to as shot, this is the original composition. I think it's still uh, decent, but what really bothered me about the original photograph is just this big highlighted spot towards the top right. Every time I would start working on the image, that area would catch my attention. Now, of course, I could clone that out, but I just found it very simple to go into the crop tool right here and just kind of pull that edge in. And then also just making sure I'm playing with the balance here. So right here, we have this tiny little triangle on the right side. I think I'm just gonna push the composition a little bit to the right so that that area is slightly bigger actually even a little bit more just to get out that highlight on the top right. So super simple crop, um, nothing too special here. I'm just trying to simplify the composition by removing that distracting element from the edge. So here's an image I didn't crop. And this is a problem with my work. <laughs> Sometimes when I rush, I cannot get a level horizon. I'll check my camera when I have time, but if you're rushing and, and um, the light is dying, sometimes you just have to shoot it as you see it. And this is one of those cases where I have a skewed horizon. So I try to make sure all my horizons are completely straight. What I do here is I just click on the right side, pull that in to make it visually match. You can also use this little ruler tool right here and just click and drag where your horizon is and then you can get straight horizons. Pretty basic crop for this one. I don't need to crop anything else. It was more just about correcting that horizon line. All right, waterfalls. So I love shooting waterfalls and you'll notice I went with kind of a wide angle look for this photograph. Um, so I cropped the 16 by nine to kind of give it a more cinematic look. We can check out the original here. And for this image, I just didn't really feel like the top of the image was doing anything for the composition. I also wanted to crop out just that little bit of waterfall on the right side. That's kind of that brighter area that catches your eye. In this photograph, I pretty much just went to 16 by nine, went through here and started playing around with this crop. I think I went right about here and there we go. So. Just a creative choice here um, to go with the wider perspective. Of course, this photograph would probably work in the normal two by three aspect ratio. I just really liked that wide angle format. So I think it is important to consider your camera's resolution when you are cropping. If you're using a lower resolution camera, you probably don't want to crop too terribly far into the photograph. 
In this case, I'm using the Nikon D850, which is a large, I think 40 something megapixel camera. Uh, so I'm able to crop a lot out of these photographs and not feel like I'm losing too much print quality. I could probably crop, you know, one third of the image and still get a really nice print out of it. So this is an image I'm still working on. I'm still trying to figure out if I even like this image or not. I love the patterns and the shapes here. They're, they're so uh, abstract looking. It's almost like what you'd see in a drop tank. Uh, this is actually just sea foam spraying up on the coast. But the crop here is interesting. So I actually cropped quite a bit through this photograph. So let's take a look at the original. So as shot, this is what it looks like. And you'll notice so many distracting elements just across the frame. Uh, the sea foam was just moving across. So I'm just snapping images trying to get the right patterns. But of course, there are these out of focus uh, kind of darker boulders in the foreground. There's the darker shapes with the brighter shapes in the background. So really the crop here helps to simplify the overall composition and lose a lot of those distracting elements. And there's still a little bit more work that I need to do here to make this a final shot, but definitely the crop helps you to see these patterns more and not get distracted by those darker rocks. So here's another composition. This one is one that I haven't cropped yet. I think the composition is decent. Um, there's not too much I wanna do here, but there is a little bit of empty space to me on the right side here. There's not much happening on the right side with this rock. All the action is packed uh, <laughs> with the wave and, and all these textures on the left side of the image. You've got the people observing on the right side, but then over here you just kind of have this lost space that isn't really adding anything to the composition. So I'm gonna try and crop that. I'm gonna leave it on original aspect ratio just to see. So if we try and crop in here, get that space out of there. You'll notice the problem here is now we've actually created a new problem for the photograph. We've created visual tension between the top of the wave and the edge of the photograph on the top, and this little rock jagged point and the bottom of the frame. So I don't wanna do that. Um, if we go to a different aspect ratio, this will help. So, you know, maybe an 8.5 by 11 or 5 by 7 is going to give us a little bit less of a wide angle frame to work with. So now if I pull this out, and pull this back out. Now we have some extra room on the top of the photograph so that we give some breathing room to our subject and this pointed rock right here. So it's all about finding that balance uh, because the last thing you wanna do is crop the image and give the composition more problems than it had before. Now also, you don't have to stick to these original aspect ratios like five by seven or eight by 10. You can just click this little lock button and we can just bring this into our liking. Let's say right about there on the tree, looks good. Sometimes I try and stick with the original um, standard aspect ratios for printing, um, but really it, you can just crop it how, how you see fit. So this is actually the same, pretty much the same composition as the previous image, but I've chosen a different crop for this image to tell a slightly different story. So if I head to the crop tool here, you'll see that I actually have pretty much uh, the same frame as the previous image, but I've chosen to really crop in here so that the wave takes up the entire top and left side of the frame. I decided, I made an active choice not to show the top of the wave and not to show too much of the sky. And I think in this case, it actually helps to create a little bit more power in the photograph. It adds a little bit of mystery. Um, it, it makes it almost a little harder to tell what we're actually looking at until you stare at the image for a little bit longer. And I feel like it really helps to enhance the power, especially when you're looking at this little guy on the cliff. Just a heads up, no one was harmed in the making of this photograph. All these people standing here were completely fine, although they did get a nice shower that day. But anyways, this is just two different ways of cropping the same image to tell a slightly different story. I like both of them for different reasons. I'm not sure which one I like more. Let me know which one you like more. Let me know if you like this wider shot where you see the entire wave or if you like this closer in shot um, that kind of adds a little bit more mystery to the photograph. So there are some photographs with some of my different crops. Of course, different reasons for each image. Sometimes it's as simple as just trying to correct that uh, pesky horizon line. 
or all the way to telling a different story with the crop. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know what you'd like to see in the future. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I will be releasing a bunch of new tutorials in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. See you next time.